So what's up guys welcome to my new video and in this video we are going to see what error logging in SSIS is. So this will be a short video and we will be focusing on the overview of this logging system. So let's get started. So we have this package error logging and in this package we are going to execute a SQL task. Alright so let us conf configure this. So we have to create a connection. We already have, we already have a connection. So let us click on OK. Now let us give one query to it. So select star from. All right. So we are all set. Now we have to add error logging feature to this. So to add error logging, we have to click on the task. So one thing here we can I, I, I want to tell you is you can provide logging facility to a task as well as to the package. So if you don't want to uh, provide error logging to the entire package, you can provide the logging feature to the particular task itself. So this feature is very useful. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to add <coughs> error logging feature. Now go to this SSIS and then logging. So here you need to select this if it is not selected package and then here you have a provider. So we have these these many providers. So you can select whichever uh, provider you want. So we will select all of them. All right. So let us select this text file first add and then let us configure this. So we will create a new file. All right. Now let us keep that file on the desktop error log dot text all right okay so it is added now let us add sql server all right select this new connection you already have a connection all right now it will create a table called sys ssis log and in that it will enter all the logs all right now let us create a a trace file so whenever you select this sql server profiler you need the you need to create a trc file okay trace file so in that it will <coughs> log all the information let us create a file on desktop error log dot trc all right we need to open that file in profiler okay select this then we have a windows event log so it will log all the information in windows event log all right so just select this all right no need for this configuration next is xml file all right let us add this and we need to configure it let us create a file on desktop so error log dot xml all right now we need to uh, give the details of the log so you can select whichever you want so here all, all of them are selected so by default these are not selected but uh, i don't know how it is selected right now so all right so we are all set now let us execute this task all right okay it is executing okay so it has succeeded now let us see all of our logs all right so let us start from the text file so we have this error log text. So here, here you can see all the events on pre-validate, on post-validate, all right. And then we have diagnostic and on pre-execute, post-execute, etc., etc. And there are lots of events. And all this information, you can use this information to uh, trace any uh, bug or and anything you want on, on a particular task all right so so this is the text file now let us go to the xml file so the same information is there uh, the only thing is it is in the uh, tech xml format all right so all the events are there pre-validate uh, packet start all right okay now let us go to our SQL now we have selected this database AK so in this go to tables uh, go to system tables rather and in system tables you will see this 
SSIS SS, SS, SS log. So let us query this. Start from. Okay. So same information is there. All right. Execute task. Revalidate. Post validate. Back to start diagnostics. Exactly same. All right. Now let us go to our event log. All right. So let us refresh this. Again, you can see same information. Package finish, package end. Okay, post execute. Agnostic. So everything is there. All right. We post. Okay, and finally, our TRC file. Okay. Where is it? Here it is. Just double click on this, it will open automatically. All right. So you can see exactly same uh, events. So this is it. This is how it works. And there are many features for debugging. Also, you can uh, select breakpoints. You can add breakpoints to it. There are many things like you can go to the select breakpoints. You can select breakpoints. So what it will do is it will stop the execution on the particular breakpoint. So suppose. Uh, we have this pre-execute uh, breakpoint. So if I select this and I if I run this task, mm -hmm. so what it will do, it will stop at that point. Look, it has stopped at that point. And unless, unless and until you again uh, resume it, it, it will be in this state only. All right. So let us press F5 and there it, there it goes. All right, it executes. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys and if you got something from this video do click on the like button share this video and do subscribe so thanks for watching